All right, welcome back to Jump One Half. Okay, winners don't use drugs. Very true. Uh, using drugs when you're playing video games probably will make you lose. Um, midday and Midnight is the other option. I don't remember which is the one I unlocked first, so let's just do this one. All right. Uh, the laws of this land. No spin jumping in the daytime, and no normal jumping at night. Interesting. You can use the switch to change the time of day. Will you travel during the day or night? Alright, so... For that, I'm going to want it to be daytime. Just because that makes it easier to get on top of the, uh, blocks there. Oh yeah, right. Interesting, so when I press the... Oh, yeah, that's why, because I have my buttons wrong. One second. Alright, now that I actually can spin jump, let's do a normal jump. This... See, dealing that plant might be easier with a spin jump or with the spinies, but dealing with this guy is easier with a normal jump. Here I'm small anyway, so it doesn't matter whether I'm normal jumping or spin jumping, but... That is a lot nastier, and this is also a lot nastier, because I not only have to dodge that- Whoa! I, I not only have to dodge that spiny right there, but I also have to land on the guy. So I gotta time the things. Okay, here we go. I can't get down there during the daytime, which seems like a decent place to add a dragon coin. But I guess they didn't put one down there. Maybe because there's no actual on and off switch around here. Dang it, I did not time that correctly. At least I can get those coins with the damage boost. And keep going here. Pop you. There's dragon coin number two, so hopefully we're getting somewhat close to the midpoint. Who knows though. I expected more on and off switches through the level to give more options, but I haven't seen a lot. Okay. Uh, let's just grab the midpoint. <laughs> Don't need to kill that guy. I have a feeling it's going to make me do this at night to play with the gimmick a bit more. I suspect I'm going to need to do this to get the dragon coins, so I'm going to do that. And if not, I mean, I do get to play with the gimmick still, so... It's more interesting than just doing it all during the daytime. And then it just makes it a... A no spin jumping level instead of this level, which is pretty cool. Alright, that's fine. Alright, I need to aim for the spiny. Whoops. Still okay. And this is nastier. Okay, I need to land on the block, because I'm not going to be able to make it onto that pipe. Oh shoot, I should have just stayed on the block instead of trying to get back up there for some reason. For some reason I thought it was going to slam me against the ceiling. Hey, I despawned the Koopa. That's handy. Alright, now for this obstacle. Okay, so do I want to go up? It's giving me the ability to go back up here. I can get down, I think, if I want, so... Dang it. This timing is kind of gross. I'm going to try and despawn that guy for a bit. Wow, that is kind of weird. Uh, okay, now we're up here. Oh, I needed to come up here. If I had to just sponge up on that Koopa, I would have just crushed him. Alright, so I need the spin jump to take this top route. So let's see if there's a dragon coin up here. Nope. It's just an easier route, I think. Or an alternate route, if nothing else. Hmm. I can change whether it's day or night. Let's see what's coming up ahead. I don't see anything. So I'm just going to grab the mushroom and keep going with what I've got. Okay, the dragon coin is on the route that I can actually take, so that's good.
That worked. It was closer because of the spin jumping, but it was still okay. Goodbye. Well, that's just weird. Do I have to be small to go through there? Or does that even work? Well, um, I suppose I'll at least try it. Okay, um, well if I had scrolled the screen to the right before I got hit, that might have been enough to put the mushroom over here. Oh, I think I would have had to... I think I would have had to hit... Switch with something. Where's the switch again? It's right here. Hmm. Maybe there's some sort of weird jump I can do here to hit the switch and then land on the spiny. Is there something over here that I could bounce on? I kind of don't like playing around small right next to the end of the level, but... Because I need to be big to get up here, as far as I can tell. Unless he's going to kick something into the switch. But it doesn't seem like that's the case. It seems like I would need to bring the shell for him to kick. Maybe I was supposed to bring a shell from over here somewhere, and then throw it up, spin jump this way. Alright, I'm gonna grab the goal. I kinda wanna go back for this moon, just because it seems interesting. But first we get to see who actually made this level. Oh yeah, that's the save button. I kind of want to do that too, but... Yoshi9429 and Lazy, two people, and ironically advance Yoshis. See, the thing about Super Mario World is that I don't mind saving in this game. I almost kind of want to just do this backwards, just to experience it backwards. Okay, I'm going to need to use this guy to bounce over, because I'm not going to be able to jump over that spin jumping. I almost kind of just want to lose my mushroom here, but let's play with it. Nope. That makes this a lot easier. This is also a lot easier in the night. And now we get another mushroom here. Yeah, that didn't work at all. <laughs> it's hard to keep the mushrooms in the nighttime. I think the bottom route is going to be the easier one here. I think the top route had the dragon coin on it, if I'm not mistaken, but don't need that anymore. And I can get these coins without damage boosting this time. Oh, well I suppose I could have gotten them anyway just by bopping this guy, but... Dang it. I was just a little bit too late on my button press. Alright, I, I think I've experienced it enough during the night. I think I'm going to do this daytime again because it's easier. Alright, I actually can't get to that mushroom in the daytime. What's this door? Oh, interesting. So that brings me straight back to the puzzle. Which indicates to me that I don't need to bring a shell from somewhere else to solve the puzzle. Yeah, if I hit the... Even that just barely made it. If I hit the switch, I definitely cannot land on this guy. So my guess is that I'm going to need to grab this shell. Yeah, that makes more sense. Because now I can't spin jump, so I must regular jump. And then we need to jump up and presumably do that. Or at least I hope that- wait. Why did I do that exactly? I could have just hit this switch. Something doesn't seem right there. 
And now I get a Yoshi. Oh, I can't spin jump now. Okay, so that's what I needed the shelf for. Because I can't dismount Yoshi. Okay, so I need to throw the shell up. He needs to kick the shell to the switch after I jump. But before I jump off of Yoshi. Alright. So I get this now. Okay, so... I'm just gonna drop the shell somewhere around here for now. Let's get on to Yoshi. And forget that I can't actually jump while I'm on him right now. Alright, I gotta be careful not to despawn the shell. Okay, so I need it to be daytime right now. Okay. So now we throw it up there, give myself as much time as possible, jump on Yoshi, and then normal jump. I just don't want to hit the guy. Dang it, my timing was bad. Oh, I almost forgot to get that last time too. That would have been silly. Oh no, I did that? Seriously? <laughs> well, that doesn't work now. At least the platform is there to prevent him from landing on my head, but... Sheesh. Alright, let's see if it can work. There, got it. So now I'm big. Those guys are both dead. Now we break this block, we go back and get the moon. Woot! <laughs> That took a while, but it was pretty entertaining, so... <laughs> well, uh, time to go back to Winners Don't Use Drugs. Bye. Continue and save. And also, Mogsia. wonder if that's related to the Final Fantasy Moogle Mog, or if it just happens to contain that word. And I can jump normally again. See, look at all the spin jumping I'm doing with the A button right now. So far, nothing has happened yet. Maybe that's the joke, is that this is the only not-crazy level in this game? I'm not 100% sure why Goal Poop Post was used back there. Huh, interesting. So do I have to be... small? Well, I can try anyway. Uh, oh. Whoa! Okay. That wasn't death, I thought it was just a poison mushroom for a second, but apparently not. And it reversed my controls, by the way. That did not fix it. <laughs> I guess when you're addicted, more drugs don't fix the addiction. Alright, this time let's not grab the mushroom. I probably can't avoid the next one, but... Okay, so now it just becomes an obstacle. It doesn't kill you if you get it. But, it does make the level harder. Uh, that was not how I was supposed to do that. Let's respawn that platform. <laughs> this is a really funny gimmick. Like, whoa! Dang it. I still have momentum, so I, like, put my, I took my one hand off the controller, and that meant I wasn't holding the Y button anymore, so I undercompensated for that. There, got the dragon coin first try that time. Because I wasn't being silly. Alright, drug mushroom. Wonder if there's someone who troll me on the other side. That was perfectly fine. And now this is still a completely perfectly normal level. Where nothing weird is happening. Hooray! Don't hit that. I wonder if there's some sort of bonus for making it to the end without hitting any of them. But I'm not really sure. Why do I feel like this is a trap? Grab it before I hit the midpoint, that's for sure, so that it saves. I guess it doesn't really matter, but... Ah, uh, one of these is evil, isn't it? Well, I've already got a power-up, so who cares? Let's just ignore it, and see what happens. Not sure why I didn't just go under him there, that would have been... Perfectly safe. Look at this perfectly normal, rompy level. 
No gimmicks at all, just a few poison mushrooms lying around. So evil, and I hit those boxes without even really thinking about it, just out of habit. But it seemed to work out alright, because those uh, ones didn't do a good job of homing in on me, because I just kept running to hit the other boxes. So that worked out okay. You can just die. You gotta do a weird S jump there, but it's okay. Step on the platform. Die, Koopa. Wow, that makes the timing really bad for this section. Alright. So let's see if I can make it through in super drug mode. Whoa! I didn't realize that it shut off. I heard a P-switch noise in the background, <laughs> but I didn't realize that it meant that the drugs were ending, so I just walked clear off that platform. My timing for this section is a little bit better now that I I uh, don't have to get the dragon coin, but I still failed. The reverse controls don't matter that much when you're planning your moves ahead of time, but when you're trying to react to something it definitely throws me off. Thankfully, a lot of those jumps were fairly straightforward, which I guess is reasonable for the level. Since this, if everything was super tight, it would end up being kind of silly. Because then the drug mushrooms really would just be death instead of a uh, hindrance. Oh no, don't do it, Luigi. You finally got your 30 second pin. Green Palace of the Alchemist. You know, I'll just do this now because it's probably at a dead end. Who's this by again? Or oh, yeah, Moxia. Oh, world peace! Gotta love world peace. And there's also a video symbol, which means that... Which meant in the original jump that there was a video for this level that you could see for hints and stuff. But we haven't seen anything like that yet, so I have no idea what it means at this point. We've got Luigi for the Green Switch Palace, it makes perfect sense. Collect all 15 coins to beat this level. When you're stuck, press L or R to reset. Each checkpoint will be activated when you get everything. Okay, interesting. Oh yeah, that's why I spin jump button so that doesn't actually do anything. Okay, so that was a power-up. That was a mushroom, in fact. One zero out of two. Well, I know how to collect those. It's pretty straightforward. Easy peasy. So now I have two out of my 15 coins. Game saved. Interesting. Law of alchemical physics. Coins jump always jump right when you make everything turn into silver. Even silver coins jump. Interesting. So a coin that's already silver will jump again. But as far as I can tell, I can only activate this P-switch once. Doesn't matter though, because they'll all end up on the top platform. Oops. So I can see the future brooms. But it won't save unless I get all the coins in the room I'm in. Alright. Okay. So I need to make it bounce once to land on... Oh, these are not solid. I was focusing a little bit too much on placing my jump, so I need to make it bounce once to jump onto the second platform, bounce once to hit the wall and deflect backwards, and then make it bounce once more. But I can't do that yet. Okay, so now I press L or R to return. Good. So we wait till it's at the end, then jump. That was not good timing. I don't see any reason to try and get a preview of the next rooms until I'm done with this one, to be honest. But it's a nice feature to have, I suppose. Boink. And now we have them all, so it should save my game. Alright, so these are shell blocks. I need to... I'm assuming this is not going to turn into nighttime. Oh, okay, it does that. Well, let's reset this room. <laughs> oh, okay, so I gotta wait till they're all on the right side. Jump into that and then hit the P-switch, because that'll turn the direction around. Let's put the P-switch a little bit farther over, so that doesn't happen again. 
There, and now we get them all. Four coins. Fairly straightforward, too. Now we just have five left to go. One second, I'm just gonna make sure it's still recording. Yeah, it's not doing anything too weird. So there's four P-switches in each of these spots. Am I just supposed to drop them all in the same place and watch the coins hop into the air? Or maybe jump on four at once? And then do it again? Because I don't know how this exactly this is going to work. <laughs> okay, that did work how, it was, how I expected it to, but I really was not sure. And then we have this vine full of cutoff and death. No, I'm kidding, I don't really care. Um... 3, 2, 2. So, what's the implication of how I'm supposed to do this? Okay, I need one P-switch to get it over the first hop, and then I need four to get it over the next hop, and then I need two. So I've got the most time... I'll j so I just move this P-switch to here, and then we jump on this. I could even put it somewhere closer, why not? Makes things just a little bit safer. Boink. And now we hit four. And now we can easily just hit two. Yay! There we go. I interpreted the signs correctly. It was basically spelled out for me. I just had to do it. Okay. What are these blocks? These spitting blocks? What do they mean? What does anything mean? Okay, so this is just telling me that there's three P-switches here. So if I just hit them, I'm assuming it does not go high enough. I'm assuming I don't happen to just hit that P-switch last. Okay, that works. Now can I just get them? No, I didn't think so. I would need another switch still. Do they do go high enough with two switches? Uh, maybe? Uh, you get over there, and you stay here. Nope. I'm not sure if I hit the blue one last, though. No, that didn't work at all. I don't know what these blocks are in particular. Is this vine contraption up here important? I don't really know. Whoops, that's not actually what I meant to do. Are these supposed to be a guide, I wonder? Maybe these are where I'm supposed to put the P-switches. Two here... okay. Because these, these signs need to be reinterpreted in every room so far because they mean different things every time. Whoops. Okay, so this... This is the location that the silver P is supposed to go when I stop messing it up. And when it's supposed to go over here, so that it bounces up at the end and I can collect the coins. And then the second one also goes right here. There we go, perfect. And now we grab our nice tasty coins. Cool. <laughs> Very cool level, but that's exactly what you'd expect from World Peace. Oh, hey, he gives me a 1-up. I'll take it. Nice to build up my stock of lives a bit more. Left is to the overworld, down is to the goal. So that's what I need the coins for. Yeah, because it makes these blocks get changed into 1-ups. Instead of just... Bonus game. Catch the fish! Enter the door to retry. Max combo, 2-up, par 2. Uh, someone just rang the doorbell. When does that even happen? 
literally the second time anyone has ever rung that doorbell when I've been here, and it's when I'm recording, so that's great. Uh, I caught three. Um, okay, so I can't actually touch the piece, which is- Oh, darn fish. Well. Ah, oh, I don't get another try. Ah, uh, well, that was fun while it lasted anyway. I'm not very good at yumping. <laughs> We've got a chemical reaction happening up there. I bet it's very punny, but... I don't get the joke right off the bat. And now we get the green switch, which is weird to ha to get first because it's the most powerful of the switches in theory, at least. I don't think I got any other switches. Did I get the red one back in the cave? I think I just saw it. Punchline. But what's the joke? Hmm. Very suspicious. Oh. Joke is me, apparently. Well, that's unfortunate. And that didn't work. I'm kind of scared to go near it. Oh, okay. So it doesn't hurt me. I was confused for a second. And anything up here? No. No secret over warp pipe or something. Coach advice. Hold that jump while getting punched. Gotta get that maximum height for maximum hype. Alright, coach. I'll do you proud. So far, no more punchy gloves, and there they are. So yeah, I'm assuming for this one, I'll need to actually hold jump to get up and right. So then I'll grab the dragon coin, then jump to the left. And do the same thing I just did. So where do I go after that, though? I get the impression I'm not supposed to go down. Am I supposed to go over? Oh, okay, I just entered that pipe. It was as simple as that, but I was really stumped for a couple seconds. Whoops. Yeah, reversing direction, not the easiest thing in the world, apparently, but annoying to do, but... Oh, well, that was not the best use of power-ups, but okay. There we go. Why is there a box there? Whatever. More symbols and more punchy gloves. Okay, that worked. I guess I'm just supposed to go in here. I should have probably looked before I left, but. Why do I feel like I'm supposed to avoid these coins? Maybe I'm just overthinking something. I wouldn't be surprised if I could have just jumped that, but okay. So, slam up against the pipe and fall land on this guy. I can just bounce on this guy for as long as I want. Timing was not good there. Dang it. I was very close to hitting the platform. Okay, so that just times itself if you go right away. That definitely makes that a lot easier. Coach advice while getting jump punched hold jump without holding left or right for maximum distance. Okay, so it's like the cannons. Holding left or right will make me actually lose speed, but if I just jump into it, I fly off into the distance. But here I want to hold right, obviously, because otherwise they'll just punch me into the muncher pit, and that's not really all that great. Uh, whoops. Dang it. Well, I'm probably just gonna kill myself then. Alright, that works, and then that works too. I accidentally panicked and held left right at the end there, but doesn't really matter because I still managed to hit the left punching glove. Okay, let's see how this goes. We got another one of these moving platforms. Lots of coins in this level. It's very friendly that way. Those guys delay me just a bit, but as long as I don't panic, I'm fine. And that felt uncomfortable, but it worked. Still have not seen any more dragon coins. I'm hoping there was nothing in any of those pipes back there. So this is just a power-up. 
doesn't really help me that much in this level, but okay. Let's just do that. Okay, I did not react correctly to that, but it didn't kill me for that, so that's okay. Got just one more dragon coin to find here. This is the sort of level that will make me react to find it, so... Okay, so I've got timed run here. Which will definitely make me react to find it depending on where it's placed. Boink. Alright, it looks like the timed run is over now. The good news is if, even if I die here, it doesn't really matter that much, but I think this is easy, easy enough. Okay, but that's the trick, is it's not going to just bump me into it this time. There we go. Didn't even need the left punch a glove at all, to be honest. Now I just need to survive until the end. I'm kind of wishing that I put these uh, platforms a little bit farther apart. And it gives me a nice easy shot for a 50, but I still blew it, because it's hard to get a 50. Okay, that was a pretty good level. As have been basically all the levels so far. <laughs> I mean, it's jump one half, what did you expect? Dynamic dungeon. Um, how am I doing on time? Eh. I think that's the time to end it, unfortunately. So, Truxton, you'll get your level played this time. Next time. This time, right after I said I'd end it. See you next time.